Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. I appreciate you joining me today uh, more than you could ever know. Today we are going to do a quick and effective back stretch. So regardless of if it's your lower, middle, upper back, um, wonderful. Quick way to get things taken care of, loosened up, and to get working in a more efficient way. So um, water if you need it, always take a break if you need one, listen to your body. If something's not right, listen to your gut, listen to your body, listen to your breath, all right? So we're gonna find a seated position that feels good to you. And we're gonna take a big breath in and reach. Turn your palms to face front, spread your fingers wide, and as you exhale, pull those elbows back and down, open your chest. You're welcome to lift your gaze to the sky. These are called cactus arms. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. And inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, rotate to the right. Placing that left hand to the top of the thigh. Right hand behind you. Prop yourself up as tall as you can sit. And turn and take your gaze out over that back shoulder. I want you to really sit up nice and tall. A little drop of your chin down towards your right collarbone. So keeping the back happy and healthy. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody who deals or has had an instance to have their back unhappy. Yeah, we don't take that for granted anymore, do we? Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. And as you exhale, rotate to the left, right hand to the top of the thigh, left hand behind you, prop yourself up. Turn and take your gaze out over that back shoulder with a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. I have had back issues. I like to call them gifts because I feel like they have taught me a ton in life. And that gift brought me here to you. Yoga saved me. And I just want to bring that to as many people as possible. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over. Yoga gave me the strength, ah, uh, the body awareness to really take care of myself and continue to do the things in life that I truly, truly love, including yoga. Inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up, and exhale, take it to the other side. So it is super important that we keep that mobility in the spine. We keep the space between the vertebra so we stay nice and tall. That'll help keep our posture, our gait, our balance. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Pull your hands through heart center. Core strong as you walk it out. And just release the weight of your upper body down. You are welcome to extend those arms out long. You can have a soft bend in the elbows. You can stack your hands. You can stack fists. Just let that upper body come forward. So working in all directions. Our forward bends our arching back, our laterals side to side, our twists right and left. Mm, just keeping that spine young and healthy. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips, big circle of those arms up and overhead. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Let's come up onto all fours for some cat and cows. Now, sometimes cat and cow can be very challenging. So what I want you to do is watch your range of motion. Always coming back to just a neutral spine, a slight arch, a slight rounding. So you decide what's right for you. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift your spine, hollow your tummy and chest, tuck your chin. So this can be a big movement or a little one. And then as you inhale, slowly lower your belly down towards the earth as you lift your gaze and your sit bones. So if arching your back is not great, just come back to that neutral spine. And exhale, hollow to cat. And inhale to cow. Let's do two more of each. And again, that neutral spine, holding your tabletop is activating through the core. It's lengthening through the spine. So don't judge if there's not a lot of room of movement here. Really working to articulate those vertebrae one at a time to facilitate that movement. We're mindful, okay, we're kind. 
And we come back to our neutral spine and sit it back to child's pose. Extending the arms out nice and long. Beautiful stretch through that lower back. Go ahead and kind of get rid of the wiggles if you need to. Those knees can be apart or together. Mm, just breathe. Extending those arms out nice and long. We're going to inhale up to a modified high plank. Knees remain on the mat. And then we're going to ever so slowly lower the hips a little or a lot. You listen to your body. So keeping the core strong, supporting the back. And then slowly level it out and press it back to child's pose. We're going to do that two more times. Inhaling it up. Exhale, slowly lowering those hips, lowering the belly, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. And again, only as much as feels good to you. And back to neutral we go, core strong, and press it back to child's pose. One more time, inhale it up, modified plank. Exhale, slowly begin to let those hips come down towards the earth as you lift your chest towards the sky, gaze towards the sky. And once again, we level it back out and sit it back to child's pose. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands out to the left, reaching through your right fingertips as far as you can reach. Oh, and press those hips to the right. So I just brought my knees back together a little bit more. You can keep space or you can bring them closer. You decide what feels good to you. This allows me to gently press my hips to the right a little bit more as I reach to the left, creating a longer stretch through that right side. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through center. And then over to the right, reaching through your left fingertips as far as you can reach. Oh, and press those hips to the left as you relax the weight of your head down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center to child's pose. Extending those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. We lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky to downward facing dog. So this seems like why would I do this for my back? Well, <laughs> if you have tight hamstrings, tight calves, that can translate into a tight lower back. So we really work to lengthen the hamstrings and the calves. A little pelvic tilt, lengthening through the spine. Core is strong. We inhale it to high plank or high push-up position. And then exhale it back to down dog. And you're saying, okay, well, that's really hard. Yep, it's meant to be. We want to get stronger. We inhale it to high plank, your best high plank, and then exhale it back to down dog. We're just going to do that one more time. So as we get stronger through our core, the core helps support our back. And exhale it back to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, we walk the feet in. If you're like, wow, I can't get my feet in very far, bend your knees a little bit, as much as you need to, to get those feet in, hands and feet close, and then just gently extend your legs. Make sure those heels are down, extending those legs and letting the arms be heavy. Breathe. We bring the hands to the elbows and hold on and gently sway side to side. Coming back to center, release your arms. Slowly we bend those knees, and we're going to find a safe way to come down onto our bottoms, however you need to come down. And once again, extend those legs out long, flex your feet, reach to the sky. Exhale, extend, and hinge it forward. So that down dog prepared us for our forward fold a little bit. This is an intense stretch down the backs of the legs, and you'll notice that wonderful stretch in that lower back. Draw your chin down. Just come as far forward as feels good to you. And if you need to, prop something up underneath those legs, under the knees. As you bend those knees a little bit, that just takes out some of the intensity in the backs of the legs. And you'll reach it out and sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet, lower your arms, and as slowly as you're able, 
roll it back. And extend those arms out to a T. Right knee pulls in, left hand to the outside of the right knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the mat, as you twist, turn and take your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes and breathe. So hitting some really good stretches, some wonderful mobility exercises to really help keep that lower back, middle back, um, upper back happy. Lots of other videos that are longer that you can get in a little deeper if you like. Really the biggest thing is consistency. So making sure you're moving every day. Slowly rolling it back to center. Extend your right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip. And slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in, left arm extends out to a T. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. And gently pull your leg across your body. So my longer videos, yep, you'll probably find a lot of these stretches in there. Turn and take your gaze out over that left arm. But if you've only got a few moments and you know you need to do something, your back is just feeling not super great. These are some of my favorites that really make a big difference in my life and keeping that chronic pain away. Gently releasing, coming back to center. Our last one is dead bug or happy baby. Pulling both knees in towards the chest, extending your feet towards the sky. Knees stay bent. We're going to open up those legs a little bit wider than the width of the rib cage and reach up, taking a hold anywhere along the outside of the leg or outside edge of your foot that you like. And gently pull those knees down. Now you can pull as much as feels good to you. You can be as intense as you want it to be. I just want you to feel great. So drawing those shoulders down against the earth. Head is heavy against the earth. We feel that great stretch in the groin, in the lower back. That length and connection of the spine against the earth. Now we're going to release that intensity and we're just going to rock it side to side. You can play with it. You can extend one leg and the other. You can extend both legs. You can do whatever feels good. You can pull them both in and kind of rock in a reclined butterfly. Mm, it just feels good. Switch it up. Great way to realign the pelvis and that little massage for your lower back. We come back to center, pulling the knees in towards the chest. Mm, just hug those knees in. Let the shoulders come down against the earth. Transfer your hands behind your thighs, and we're going to do little rocks. Up and back. Up and back. Up and back. Until we go all the way up. Let's turn. Ah, easy pose. Sitting up nice and tall. Close those eyes for a moment. Let's test it out. Walk those hands forward, releasing the weight of the upper body down. Hopefully that lower back is saying, hey, feeling way better. Walking those hands out, lengthening the side body. A little deeper stretch into that lower back, pressing your tailbone towards the earth. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead. Two cactus arms, spread your fingers wide, and exhale, pull. Ah, oh, has that tension left the upper back? I hope so. Inhale, reach one more time. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach to the sky. Pull those hands to heart center. And as always, you guys, it is an honor and a privilege to be here for you. Thank you for joining me today. Be well. Take care of yourself, and until the next time, namaste.